Hey, welcome to the show. Check this out. We have a double digit multiplication problem for you and it is requested from one of my subscribers. The name was O-K-A-N-P-U-B-G and said, can you do a double digit multiplication problem? Yeah, we're going to do that for you. Um, also, we will always take a look at the comments. So uh, please subscribe, put something down there and maybe you'll be the lucky person that we'll do a problem from next. Uh, also, a shout out from Prozoil. Pro Zoil, and they kind of said, are your backgrounds real? Well, my backgrounds, yes, they are real. I filmed them in a uh, earlier time, but right now I am filming with a green screen. And so I use a little special effects and then I bring in a nice background. So it kind of looks nice when we're doing our math problems. And then I have um, J and S said I subscribe. So thank you very much. That's helping this channel grow. Really appreciate that. And then uh, Winter Rosie um, says my math exam is on Monday, which is making me stressed. I'm happy I could understand in a fun way. Hey, I hope you are going to do great on that math exam. We're going to be all rooting for you. Please let us know in the comments down below how you did. And uh, um, just relax. Take it easy. And uh, you're going to do fine. And then um, Kaden uh, Green says, I will watch your videos all the time for a test or a quiz. Hey, I sure appreciate that. And thanks so much for all your support. And finally, uh, Tima. Uh, D-A-R-I-F said, you're the best. No, you guys are the best. All right, let's get on with the show here. We have 42 times 36. When we do multiplication with double digits, just treat it like a single digit number at first. We're going to hide that three right there, and we're just going to take six times two and then six times four. All right, so let's go ahead and make this problem just a little bit smaller so I can fit this on the board. Put that over here. All right, let's go ahead and begin. Six times two equals 12. And I write the two right here and I'll carry the one and I'll put it right up here. And I'm gonna add that one in a little bit, not yet, in a little bit. So now I'm gonna take six times four. Six times four equals 24 plus the one would be 25. So let's go ahead and put 25 right here. When you write your numbers, please write them neatly. Otherwise, when we start adding on a couple more numbers for multiplication, it's gonna get all jumbled around. So please always be organized with your numbers. All right, so now we've finished uh, multiply, multiplying with the six. Now we're gonna multiply with the three. We're gonna take three times two and then three times four, okay? And we're done using this number up here. So three times two equals six. Now, do you see that three? We need to put that six right below there, right here. We're gonna put that right here. So now I can take three times four equals 12, and I can just write 12 right here. And now I am ready for addition. So now our next step is going to be adding these uh, two sets of numbers. So two plus nothing, or zero, would be two. And then five plus six equals 11. I'm going to put one right here and carry the other one and put it up there. And then 2 plus 2 equals 4 plus the 1 equals 5. So I put the 5 right here and then I put the 1 right there. And there is our answer. How would you do? Hey, I got a question for you. Do you know uh, what dinosaur can jump higher than a house? All dinosaurs can because houses can't jump. <laughs> All right, I'll stick to the math problems. Hey, um, I got a new channel. It's called Dino Math. Check that out. Um, I'll have a link right over there. Um, we're doing some mathematics on that show and just having fun. And also, I'd really appreciate it hitting the subscribe button and the like button to this channel. And I'm going to be looking for your next comment in the comments. Hey, have a great day. We'll talk to you later. Adios, my friends. Bye-bye.